Hi everyone, welcome to Your Money, Your Call. I'm Nina May. Our next caller, Steve from Brisbane. Thanks for waiting on, Steve. That's all right. Thank you, Nina. Hi, guys. Uh, guys, it's just a small cap stock, Prima Biomed, PRR. Um, I took the advice off Les, actually, on the show. So the question's kind of related to you, Todd. I believe you know a little bit about it. It had massive volumes today, which obviously was good news because it rose nearly three cents. I'm just wondering, um, do you know why there was such a massive volume and such a good rise on the stock today? And just a short question, how much do you think it will enhance Rio shares if BHB does put a bid in for them in November? Roger. Yeah, look, um, I can't remember the, the exact nature of the question, but BHP is a far superior company to Rio. Yeah, if BHP um, makes another bid, the effect on Rio. Um, I, I don't. Well, Todd, don't have this all over. Todd, Todd used his correct finger and said it will, it'll go up. It'll go up. Yeah, you know, look, I, I don't try and predict um, share prices. I, I just look at the businesses. B, BHP is a superior business on paper uh, than Rio. That doesn't mean its share price will go up more than Rio, although I think that's probably right long term, unless Rio's... Um, fundamentals improve, which they may now do because they've sold uh, or that looks like they've received a bid for the Alcan business. So, um, look, BHP, better business than Rio. Plenty of callers waiting to speak to my expert panel, so let's go straight to Arno from Kangaroo Point. Hello there. Oh, good day. Um, just wondering if uh, I could ask the panel's opinion on a stock called Asenko, the code's AAX, and um, if there's time, I'd like to ask about Link Energy. They uh, seem to be as, about as transparent with their news as this dust storm yesterday. Um, just wondering what the panel's thoughts on that was. Asenko, the first one, so we'll get the chart up on the screen, which has had quite a decent rise. Yeah. Um, look, I've done a lot of work on a lot of companies, and... Uh, sometimes it sounds flippant for me to say really, really expensive, but let me say that now, really, really expensive. Um, I'll, leave, I'll leave that there. Link Energy was the second um, stock that I know was uh, asking about, so we'll get the graphic up on the screen. Take a look. Now, this had you know, a good run up at the start of the year, seems to have fallen back a bit, come back up just you know, halfway to where it was. Um, any of you guys want to make any comments about this particular company? This is one that we do get a lot of calls on, actually. Well, I might, for the next time, I'll, I'll look into it, but I, I don't, it's not one I follow. Abe from Sydney, one of our regulars up next. Hi, Abe. Hi, uh, Nina. Thanks for taking my call. My question is about Karoon Gas. Uh, it seems to have, uh, since I bought it two days ago for $10.60, it's tanked for, it's gone down by about 20%. Do you think it's at this stage I should cut my losses and, and, uh, and get out, or do you think I should keep it? Because it's still got the Poseidon one uh, well, which was a successful drill. Yeah, because of course there's this Kentucky one well as, as well. Um, yet some speculation about some more disappointing results there. I, I don't know, you might know the company, I don't actually know anything about this company, but l let, me, let me say this, it's really, really important that you obtain a valuation on a company before you buy its shares for precisely the reason that we're talking about now. If you know that the value of the company is a lot higher than its share price when you buy it, and the share price then declines substantially, as it has for this particular company, then you've got the confidence to buy more because you know what it's worth. But if you don't know what it's worth, then a share price fall can get... You could panic and sell, and then it rallies again. It's very hard to predict share prices. It's a lot easier to work out what things are worth. So, so my advice would be to, to start valuing companies before you buy the shares, and, and, and that'll help in these sorts of situations to decide whether or not to take advantage of them, or as the gentleman says, to cut your losses and get out. No, I want to ask the panel around about, no, this is a terrific channel, I love it, love it, all the same. Um, LMC, it's Lehman Corporation Limited. Now, what's got me about it, it's got a fantastic dividend rate all the way through, and all of a sudden this one has got a dividend coming up on the 2nd of October at 50 cents. I can't believe it. Anybody should just jump and grab it. Uh, and it's always found that it's always got had a good result, uh, in, uh, even after the it's paid the dividend. Look, this is this. Can, can I jump in there? Mm -hmm. um, Le Mans is a company that I I first started analysing in 19, 
91 or 92. Um, it's been around for a while, this company. It's a company that actually has a business, um, which is rare for, for tonight's program, isn't it? Um, <laughs> oh, your uh, heart. Can I make a suggestion? Can I, I, I haven't valued this company, but I'd like to do it for the, for the caller. Um, can I ask him to email, uh, email me mm -hmm. um, at roger, uh, roger at rogermontgomery.com just send me an email and I'll value it for him and send it back to him because this is a this is a business. It's been going for a while uh, and uh, and I'm more than happy to provide a valuation so he can get an idea of what to do. I think it's really, really important. You want a great dividend, but you want a great business. Mm -hmm. You know, you could you can buy, for example, you could go and buy Macquarie Infrastructure Group years ago and they were paying a dividend of, you know, they were distributing $1.4 billion or $1.3 billion in dividends, yet their toll road revenue was $250 million. So they had to borrow money to fund those dividends. That's not sustainable. So while a dividend yield is very, very important, I concur with Todd, absolutely essential. It would be great you know, to get a great dividend. It's important that it's sustained, sustainable by the performance of the business. I'm just thinking of a company like a Telstra, Todd. You know, we get so many people ringing up and asking about that particular company for obvious reasons. So many people hold it. And plenty of people that I have on the panel go, yeah, I don't know, but the dividend's great. So the well, yeah, I don't, or... see. I don't think. That, I think uh, there's a company that has funded its dividends through uh, borrowings, and its borrowings have gone up a lot. Its equity has dropped because Sol has been paying over the five years that Sol Trujillo was in charge. He paid dividends that exceeded profits by more than one and a half billion dollars, uh, and so or about one point five billion dollars. That's not sustainable. You don't have any equity left if you keep doing that. So you've got to borrow money to replace the equity. Gentlemen, let's go to an email that we received from Sergio, who's in Sydney, who has a question about what he says is the poor performance of Santos, which is stock code STO, and OneSteel, which is stock code OST, which looks like trading in a range for a while and not enjoying the rally with the majority of stocks. So that email coming from Sergio from yeah. Sydney. Woodside over Santos any day, as you, you mentioned. So why don't you focus on OneSteel for us? What do you think? Um, expensive. Um, and, and therefore not one that I bother researching uh, simply because it, it, the price exceeds the value by such a substantial margin. But what's interesting about the performance of Santos and Woodside over a long period of time is that the market is very, very good at being right over long periods of time. It's very bad at being right in the short term. You know, it tends to be a popularity contest in the short term, but over long periods of time it tends to get it right. You know, I said earlier Woodside is a superior business to Santos. Um, and when you look at it on paper, it's just got it ticks all the boxes, whereas Santos doesn't. And you'll find that better businesses perform better in the share market over long periods of time. And this is a classic example of that. Gentlemen, we're going to take a short break. If you've got a question for Todd and Roger, then do give us a call. 1300 30 34 35 is the number to dial. Back with more in just a minute. Don't go anywhere.